For the first time ever, we have an ant infestation in the greenhouse. I hate to use poison in here, but I had to go and pick up a couple of these little ant baits like this, and we are gonna see if they work. Hopefully they do, because these little creatures will do nothing but cause us trouble and they can, you can see we got another ant bait up here as well so hopefully this works all right today we're out in the yard and i'm going to admit to a rookie mistake i made these awesome weed free garden beds which i showed you in a video i made recently and i'm going to show you my rookie mistake my mistake was to put horse manure in here. So a lot of you people who've been doing this for a long time probably knew that was gonna be a mistake. So you can see I've got all these little weeds like this popping up because I put horse manure in here. And after doing my research, I learned that horse manure has a lot of seeds in it. And so I'm going to probably get a lot of weeds in here this year. It'll be fun to pick through that. Today, I'll be planting my 10 strawberry plants that I bought yesterday. And what I'm going to do is I have some turkey manure in here. And then, of course, I have my miracle Grow garden soil here. I'm going to mix those together and plant that around the strawberry plants. Okay, so what we're doing now is I've got my turkey manure. I'm going to put that in here. Turkey manure is supposed to be a lot better than horse manure. And then we have our miracle Grow here. And what I'll do is I'll mix this together and then I'm going to plant my strawberries right into this stuff. So this should be a really good for the strawberries and get them growing really quick. Okay, so now I just dug 10 holes for the 10 strawberry plants. So now I'm gonna take as my mixture of turkey manure and the miracle Grow, and I'm gonna put some of that into the holes and then I'll put the strawberry plants in and fill the rest of the stuff around those. Okay, so I have my first strawberry plant. We are going to put it in the ground and get going here. Okay, so last year I had a garden expert tell me to use one of these to water my garden and to just let it go back and forth two days a week, 30, 45 minutes, and that it would just soak in. But I had two problems when I did that is that number one, I got tons of bugs, mostly like squash bugs and crap. and. Uh, they're a pain in the butt. They've destroyed our pumpkins and all that stuff. And uh, the other problem was I felt like we got weeds everywhere in the gravel. And so this year I'm gonna try a more direct approach and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. But I've got this stuff here and I'm going to do a drip line and I'm going to drip directly to each individual plant. And hopefully what that does is 
it keeps the soil from not getting too wet so the squash bugs won't come in and it should keep the weeds down this year because we're not watering everything. Okay, so first things first, I got the special adapter piece here that plugs in to the hose bib just like this. So I'll just screw it in, right? And then once I screw that in, I take this hose right here and I push this piece into here and I'll run this cord uh, through the strawberry thing and then um, I'll show you what I'll do from there. Okay, so the next step is I've got my piece attached here to my hose. So I'm just gonna put this end here and push it onto this. There we go. And then I'll take this tubing here and I'll just run it down and back and we'll be good to go. Okay, so now we have the tube laid out where we want it to go. Put a couple of bricks down there to kind of keep it in place. And to close this off, you got this open end here. It's a really simple, cheap trick. I just cut off a little piece of pipe, like we use for a sprinkler system. Take this and you just fold it like this. Just fold it in half and I just push that on there. And that will keep any of the water from escaping. Okay, so the next step is to put these little rainbird drip pieces in. Looks like that. And what you do is you take some hose like this and you're gonna push it into the red part. Kind of wiggle it in there. And then this sharp section right here, you actually just push it into the plastic, the brown plastic tubing. And you stretch this out and just chop it with some scissors to the exact length so it's watering the plant. Just take this piece like this, the sharp piece, you're just gonna push it right into this. It'll just pop through. You can buy a special tool for it, but I found you don't need one. And then you just stretch the cord out right to the length of the plant and just chop with some scissors. And then what I'll probably do is just put a rock right here to hold it because I don't want to use any metal staples, but you can use a metal staple. Now I'm going to show you what we've done here with the drip lines. We're set up and ready to go. I'll test it here in a few seconds, but I just want to show you a close-up of how it looks. So you can see I've bought an adapter piece and hooked that into a hose bib. And then you got the drip line that runs over to the strawberry plant. I put a rock there because that one wasn't really staying in place. As you come along, you'll see it's there. You see here too, some of these strawberry plants I bought already have little strawberries growing on them, so hopefully we'll be getting strawberries pretty soon. And then of course, we want every other here. So now, I'll turn it on and make sure it works. Okay, now we're gonna test it. I'll turn on the hose bib right here. And we should see water dripping out of here pretty quick. So this is great. It's working perfect. It will only have to water for a few minutes each day. And the best part is it's gonna go directly down into the root system. So it shouldn't attract any of those annoying bugs. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do before I scurry on off to work is I wanna check on the ant bait and see if it worked. Well, it looks like they're still doing their thing, but there's definitely a lot less of them today. I forgot to introduce you to our four new plants that I picked up yesterday. I repotted them into bigger plots, <laughs> bigger pots, because Mother's Day is still a few weeks away and uh, I want those roots to be able to continue to expand and grow. So here you go. I got a cantaloupe bush there, and then I got two peppers, and then a squash. Last night here in Eagle Mountain, uh, temperatures dropped near freezing, not quite to freezing. And so last night, I didn't want the new strawberries getting damaged, so I created a bunch of mini greenhouses. So I'm gonna show you what I did. You put everything 
under these little ice cream containers. So these little ice cream containers act as miniature greenhouses to protect the strawberry plants that are in here. And they keep them nice and warm. Okay, so today I decided to do a little rehab on this lime tree that I love so much. And you can see right down here, I put the stake in the ground and tied it to the base of the tree and I'm trying to pull the base of the tree towards that post. And then of course I put in this large post here, you can see, and I've tied it in a couple places to help hold it straight up. So hopefully we can save this little tree and it'll produce for us here in the near future. Okay, so we are headed down into the greenhouse again for your weekly update, kind of show you what's going on down here and how our little plants are doing. Okay, so we're just a few weeks from Mother's Day, which means you're gonna be planting these outside pretty soon. And you can see, these are the new ones we planted. The squash are looking really good. We've got some um, cherry tomatoes are looking good. And for some reason, our peppers haven't shown up yet. So hopefully they pop up soon. And then of course, you go back to our plants we planted on March 31st. We have had a couple of slugs get in here and wreak some havoc, but you can see the tomato plants are doing good. And the pumpkins and watermelons are growing good. We've got over here the spinach, celery, and lettuce all growing. So the only two that are failing us right now is cantaloupe and cucumber. We've got our indoor carrot experiment. So, and they look like they're doing pretty good. Okay, so you got the two lily koi trees right here. They're doing pretty good out here. They did better inside. I'm gonna have to get support to that one. And then of course, you've got my daughter's school experiment right here. She's gonna try to grow a giant cabbage. We've got our little zucchini plants growing. So as you all know, we have the citrus trees in here, all kind of grown here. The orange tree and the grapefruit tree are looking nice and big there. Right here, we have our peach tree that's giving us peaches. So I'm just gonna give you an update on these guys. You can see we've got some pretty decent sized peaches already appearing. Well, that's all I have for you this week in the underground greenhouse. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.